Welcome back to another episode of Excalibur CCG TV's Talking Comics. As usual, he is Mark, and I am Randy, and we are the guys from the Shreveport location of Excalibur Comics uh, that bring you the new books that are going to be on the shelves every Wednesday morning, and this Wednesday we're talking about happens to be September 27th, 2017. Remember, you can visit our website, ExcaliburCCG.com, to find out information on our phone numbers at here or the Texarkana shop or locations with uh, directions how to get there. If for some reason your maps tells you that we're across the street in the old location, guess what? We're not in the old location. We're in the <laughs> new location. You can look right over your shoulder and see the new store. Um, it's true. So there's nothing much to it to get you too confused by that. You can call us and easily find out that we still are open. That's one of my favorite phone calls. Are you still open? <laughs> You're talking to me, aren't yes, you? Yes, I answered the phone, so there you go. We paid the bills this week, uh, this month. So uh, feel free to stop in if you have not stopped in before. And uh, if you have, feel free to stop in again. We love to see new faces, old faces. Fresh faces, uh, unshaven faces, glammed up faces, everything. Uh, scars. Scars. We like scars. That's. Don't. I mean, don't do that just to. <laughs> if it happened in, yeah. <laughs> at a different point in time. Don't do yes, it just because Mark right. said he likes scars. Uh, so. Save your eyebrows, though. Because <laughs> I usually need a laugh. <laughs> During the day Mine point. basically look like they're already <laughs> shaved. There's not a lot going on there. <laughs> oh, speaking about not a lot going on, there aren't a lot of books coming out no, this week. No so, news, no books. No news. I may I may have a little something to share here. We'll see uh, what it has, uh, you know, what we can get out of it. But we'll start with the new books with you. All right. Uh, my first one is from Titan Comics. Uh, it's, it's another one of their Hammer titles that they've been releasing. They did The Mummy. Oh, and, uh, not MC Hammer, by the Not way. MC oh. Hammer title, although <laughs> you can't touch this. <laughs> I am wearing Hammer pants. <laughs> uh, we uh, all are. We all are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Captain Kronos, number one. Uh, this is from the old uh, Hammer film of the same title. Vampire Hunter. Uh, this is from Dan Abnett and Tom Mandrake. Good and team. Mike Parkins doing the cover art. That's pretty awesome. I might be sold on this. Although I did love the movie. It was a great movie. Uh, in the depths of Eastern Europe, the legendary vampire hunter, hunter, hunty are. <laughs> Captain Kronos and his two assistants, Roast and Carla, are called upon to help rid of town of its vampire plague. However, beneath the surface of the beleaguered town, a malevolent force far more evil and deadly is awakening, and it just might be the match of Kronos. Like a discarded match that he, like, did. <laughs> I, I don't know. Tossed it. Kronos' match. I, have, I don't know. I have seen evil. one Hammer film. Actually, it was really good. I enjoyed it. I so. love the Hammer films, man. Those I just always remember the, the opening scene had, like, all the gypsies dancing on the tables in the bar, and this guy walks in with a very fake... Uh, Eye that's kind of hanging a little out there. It was great. His humor. It was it was a little bloodier than what yes. you were used to. Yeah, it's a little and, bloodier uh, than. But it's got. They definitely have some dark humor. In them. Yeah, uh, and lots of. Well, I shouldn't say. It was never scary. I, I never felt scared watching it. There, I, Christopher Lee was pretty scary as Dracula a couple no, of okay. times, especially in the one where he didn't talk at all. He was just kind of like. Ugh. And they were, they were one of the classic films for having the uh, scantily clad women. There was a lot of cleavage in the Hammer films. Yes, there was. A lot of cleavage. I, I remember sure. that as a young boy. That definitely stands out in my mind from a little kid watching this thing. So, for something a little more adult to something a little more kid-friendly, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about DuckTales number one. IDW is bringing this to you. I didn't write down the creative team. Uh, shame on me. But we've got Huey, Louie, Dewey, Uncle Scrooge, Webby, and Donald. They are all back for new stories. Uh, it looks like this is going to be one of the classic Uncle Scrooge books where it's, or Donald, any of the, the Disney ones, where it's like multiple 
stories yeah. rather than one long uh, tale, more like what the uh, Darkwing Duck right. did. Uh, the first story is called The Great Experiment of the Washing Machine. And this is uh, Donald and his nephews discovering a secret lab in which there are all of these inventions they're supposed to make life easier, but they probably don't. I think one of them involves making people shorter. Um, wackiness and that. And then in the backup story, that, that one, all they get told us is that's called The Chilling Secret of the Lighthouse. I think I'd want to know more about the lighthouse than, than you know, modern day machines making life easier, but... Yeah, Maybe the chilling story me. of the lighthouse sounds fun. Sounds like an Uncle Scrooge adventure. Yes. Um, all right. Next up for me is from Marvel. It's Generations Captain Americas uh, from Nick Spencer and Paul Renaud and uh, John Cassidy doing the cover, one of the covers. Um, they were part of the Greatest Generation, and now Sam Wilson finds himself alongside them yet again in a strange yet familiar setting. Fighting shoulder to shoulder with Captain America and Bucky against a seemingly unstoppable threat to the safety of the world. I'm assuming that means he's going back to World War II. That sounds like it. Although they did not say. No, they, they were not specific. Um, uh, but the, the, the greatest like, generation yeah, is the only thing I'm seeing there. That's that the clue. Of. That's the clue, I think. So, uh, another generation's title. Um, I'm not. Is this the last one? No, because I've got another one. Ah. <laughs> Generations, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and Peter Parker, Spider-Man. I like that if you're going to say Miles Morales, go ahead and say Peter Parker with it. It's a big mouthful. Right. Big title. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis is writing this one, and I love the artwork of Ramon Perez. Uh, he yes. will be uh, on board as the artist there. Miles meets up with a Peter who is a much younger Peter, and a Peter who is dealing with the great responsibilities that he had to deal with as a teenager having been bitten by a spider and having an aunt that was so frail and doting doting and about the only thing she could do was make wheat cakes wheat and cakes man wheat cakes Petey Petey wheat cakes Petey wheat cakes uh, that sounds like the rapper <laughs> Petey wheat straw was actually I think it was like a one of those black exploitation films from the early 70s. Oh. I think, was, I think he was like something to do with like the devil something or other. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that one. He reads strong. So, Miles gets to see the younger Peter uh, in action and somehow, I guess, gets involved with uh, Peter's life. So, <laughs> there's not a much that they, I mean, years had more detail in that than this did where it was just basically describing all the stuff that Peter went through as a kid and uh, I mean it's what made people love uh, Peter from the uh, beginning with Spider-Man is that he was having to deal with normal issues on top of right. being a superhero was, right couldn't get his homework done because he had to go be Spider-Man dang I so wish I could have made that excuse yeah me too I probably did at one time. I'm sure it didn't work. <laughs> um, and that leads us into, finally, drum roll, Marvel finally Legacy here. number one is finally here. I, you After didn't let me take a drink. I was going to do a oh. spit take. <laughs> oh, man. All right. After all these. <laughs> uh, this is brought to you by Jason Aaron and Isad Rivik and Various. Joe Casada doing one of the covers. There's like 30 covers. Yeah. Uh, everything starts here again, over till the next reboot. But it begins at the dawn of the human race and ends with a child's prayer. In between Empire's Fall, Mysteries Brew, secrets are revealed, quests are undertaken, and legends are forged. All leading up to the dramatic return you've been waiting for and one you've been dreading. Uh, Bill Jemus. Coming back? I, I think Forge is coming back. Didn't you just tell us Forge is coming there back? There was a Forge oh. in here somewhere. I've, I've been Spoilers, waiting. sorry. <laughs> I'm the only fan of Forge out there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the X-Men that can talk to computers or yeah. machines. And, I don't know too much about him. I wasn't reading much X-Men in that I, whole era. He was in the X-Factor book, and I love the, okay. that series. So, um, so um, yeah, that's, that's one hopefully people are on board for. Um, well, this is... I mean, this is supposedly starting up a new era of old and new characters um, coexisting, all being heroes, maybe, finally. Um, 
This is uh, Jason Aaron and Esad Ribic ushering a new dawn. One whose rays will touch every corner of the Marvel Universe in the days to come. It's everything you've been longing for and more. We'll see. I don't trust Marvel, so we'll see. Some reports are saying that uh, this is apparently something that Marvel is putting a whole lot of their eggs in, in the one Marvel Legacy basket. They're really hoping this uh, moves in the right direction. Um, about the only thing I can say that will do that is just do classic storytelling. Good, do good stories. Just a good classic storytelling. That's what people enjoy. So, yeah, um, we'll see. That's that's it with the number ones we have. Um, like we said, not a whole lot of them. We do yeah, have uh, two of the big stories uh, that are coming out. Uh, uh, I'll start with uh, Action Comics number 988. This is the Oz Effect Part 2. Remember, these are, have lenticular covers yes, they do. as well as the regular uh, A and B cover to go along with it. This is the big one where everything is going to be revealed about Mr. Oz's past. And uh, meanwhile, while that's happening, Superman is having to struggle and deal with the ramifications of just who the you know Mr. Oz seems to be. Are right. we going to, is that a red herring right now, or not? It seems almost too simple that they find out with the first issue. Right. That's that's never quite how it goes although, with comic books. Yeah. Although it has been a long reveal. Yeah. The, the, that's true. That's but true. you never know. But how, I mean, know. this is the one that they've been promoting, and they put the lenticular covers on these. Right. So. Uh, I just I wonder if there's the swerve or not because uh, be. a lot of people thought it was somebody else, especially with the Oz name, the right. O Z there. So, right. uh, been getting good reviews so far. So but he uh, is I white like and powerful. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man pulling the tape from the. Uh, <laughs> 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 exactly. Um, for me, it's uh, another one from Marvel, uh, Venomverse number four of five. This thing has been selling like crazy. We're selling a lot of Venomverse stuff. People yep. love the Venom. Uh, this is from Colin Bunn. Uh, I've been I've been cello, cello, suelo, cuello, cuello. I don't know. It's the LL is the y. Is it? Yeah, cuello, cuello. No, I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> uh, somebody may be on their side it's classified but the Venom's battle against the poisons is far from over even though it's number 4 or 5 it's far from over um, luckily the Venoms have a plan and unluckily it's a suicide mission into the heart of poison territory so they're still fighting these poison aliens and uh, I, don't, I don't know what they are because I haven't read any of this so um, they're, they're girls because that girl is poison. <laughs> I don't know. Or is it poison like um, talk dirty to me? Uh, hopefully it's the... Uh, I like Belle Biv DeVoe more than I like... Uh, uh, like Brett Michaels? Brett Michaels, yes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Duck Lips? Yes. Uh, that's... Uh, what was that? Going to? There was something I was going... Oh, no. I guess the War Stories was just a one-shot. I guess it was. Because we're on four or five, and this yeah. is coming out once a week Weekly. here. Weekly. Oh. So it's it's done um, in a couple weeks. I can't Weekly. imagine that they would have, like... Well, <laughs> I could imagine. <laughs> that does... <laughs> Marvel is never late on their Not events. Not unheard of. Not unheard of. <laughs> so... War Stories Omega. Those, those are the two events that we're talking about here. Uh... Real quickly, you know, make sure you chime in if whether or not you're going to be on board with uh, giving Marvel a try with the um, Marvel Legacy. That could be a question of the week. Are you on board? Are you on board? Are you going to give them a chance? Uh, Marvel, like, are you done with them, or are you going to give them one more shot with this Legacy? Thing? That's right. And tying into that, a uh, little bit of the news that they've, they've put out there is that something big is going on with Avengers... 675? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a new creative team, and they've said that's not the the Jason Aaron Assad Ribic team that had been talked about. Really? Yeah, they said that it's something else. They okay. don't know who, because Marvel's being very tight-lipped, which okay. is very strange for Marvel. Yeah, they usually throw their stuff out there, just to see what Get happens. it on the news circuit. Yeah. They do all different sorts of things to, uh, to get that going, but... 
So it looks like Wade's time is coming to an end on Avengers, and Jason Aaron's time is not there yet, if it's ever going to be there. I, I don't know where he stands with um, the company, you know, fitting into the legacy company right now, other than telling the uh, Thor story. Right. So, uh, big information. Is that something that has you excited? A new creative team there? Is that something that will draw you back in if you have left the fold, if you're in the fold? Will you continue uh, with it? Does it does it really matter who's a creative team for you? But it's a uh, big, big things that apparently are going to be happening at Marvel, and it all launches this week. So, with that being said, let's go through the obligatory. Uh, that's it from us. <laughs> if you have not liked or shared or subscribed with us so far, please do so. Uh, continue to comment in the pages. I saw I, I peeked in on Mark uh, one day and he was there commenting to you guys. So uh, bravo, because I do a terrible job of doing that. <laughs> I'm not a media person. Uh, <laughs> I don't always. But uh, but you are trying. But, but yeah. Which is about 150 percent more than what I <laughs> do with the uh, talking reply. Chris Hunter, where are you? I haven't seen you there in a couple weeks, man. You're our only hope. Help me, Chris Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, remember to visit us on our Facebook page. You can see what the new comics are that are coming out this week. That includes the new Pops, uh, statues, yes. and uh, anything else that might be hitting the store. Graphic novels. So, um, if you don't see it on there, be it t-shirts or uh, magazines or something, that's because we don't have people pre-ordering it. So why are we going to spend extra money on something that nobody seems to be asking about? So if you want it, ask for ask it. Ask for it, yes, please. Um, that's, that's the way you get something. And ask nicely. Ask nicely, <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Ask nicely. So, uh, in essay form. In essay form. I want, you will be graded. I want I don't even know what any 10,000 words by Friday. <laughs> um, but that's, that's going to be it for us. Uh, talk to us. We'll talk to you as usual, uh, or hopefully as usual. Until next time, read great comics, and uh, we'll see you in the comic shop. Bye.